Welcome back to part 3 of learning basic CNC programming. In the last video we talked about how to find the coordinates to the center of a tool as it walks around this 2 by 2 inch square in a clockwise direction. Let's see how these coordinates are interpreted by the machine as it goes around milling our square and notice how we just moved a little bit past this corner so as the tool retracts it doesn't leave a, a mark on the part. So let's talk about how the machine interprets straight lines between these coordinates. So here we're looking at a program that a 3-axis mill would require to mill our 2 by 2 inch square. The program will only make one pass straight to finish and be done. That's all it will do. Now this top portion of the program right here is where the machine will pick up the tool, turn on the spindle, turn on the coolant, and pick up all the offsets. The second portion of the program is where our geometry is located. That's where the shape is being machined. In the bottom of the program is where the spindle is turned off, coolant is turned off, and the axes are going back to their home position. Now I have labeled the lines where our coordinates are located, which we found in our previous illustration. And the way the program and the machine knows what to do with these coordinates is the G1 code in front of the coordinates. So that will be the first G codes you will learn today. And that is a linear move or a straight line move. So as you can see there's a G1 in front of each of these coordinates that we picked. And so it will connect these coordinates in straight lines. So G1 is a very important code. It is used in every single program that you will write. So G1 linear moves. So let's watch this program run. You won't be able to see the spindle turn on or the coolant, but it will verify every code and make sure that it is a runnable code. All right, so that is G1, our first G code in of many that you will learn about. So Obviously, there are going to be some radii that we're going to want to put on some parts. So let's learn how to pick points and how to program clockwise arcs next. So here we have a part that has a full radius on one end and then a, a quarter inch radius on the lower left corner right here. Again, we've put the origin at the upper left hand corner of the part, so that is where the x and y value is zero. So, we're, again, we're using a half inch end mill, and we're going to approach the part at a safe distance away from this corner. So, that is our start point, and we're going to walk around this part in a clockwise direction again. And we'll explain later why you would pick a clockwise instead of a counterclockwise direction. Uh, th that is uh, going to be covered in a different video, but um, just so you know, there is a reason why we go clockwise. All right, so point one or the start point minus. Uh, 750 in the X and again the machine wants to coordinate to the center point of the end mill. So we're sitting a quarter inch, remember half the diameter of the end mill uh, and then this bottom edge of the tool is then in line with this edge which it will cut first. So then I have labeled each stopping point, point one is stopping right there at the tangency point right before it starts turning or milling this radius. 
uh, that tangency point is at two and a half inches from our x0 so that is also where the the tool will stop x two inches five hundred and still y two fifty then the next point after it has completed this radius it stops right here again on this tangency point which is still at x two and a half inches but now since the part is two and a, two inches wide plus that quarter inch half the tool we're sitting at y minus two inches two fifty so then the next point where we need to stop is another tangency point where we're turning around the corner here to produce a quarter inch radius, 250 radius. So remember this line is x0, the radius is a 250 a quarter inch radius, so this tangency point is right at 250 to the plus side in X so that's where the center of the tool is going to stop so right here we are X point 250 Y minus 2 inches 250 then we're going to do a radius clockwise, clockwise radius to the next tangency point which is at x minus 250 remember this is zero we're sitting on the left side so that is the minus side half the diameter of the tool 250,000 now the y location remember this is quarter inch radius so this tangency point is a quarter inch off of that two inches so that makes y minus one inch 750 and then we're going to move in a straight line to our end point just a little bit past this corner remember we don't want the tool to rub the part as it retracts so the x value there is still x minus 250 and y is 0.100 so let's take these numbers plug them into a program and then le let's learn the next g code that you will need to know to make these clockwise arcs. So here again we're looking at a program that the machine would require to mill our shape uh, including the radii and again the top of the program um, is where the machine will pick up the tool, turn on the spindle, turn on the coolant and pick up all the offsets necessary then the second portion of the program is where our geometry is located that's where we mill our shape and the bottom of our program is where we turn off the spindle turn off the coolant and send the, the axis back to their home positions again I have labeled uh, where our coordinates are located in the program again we have the start point and then point one through five and as you can see we have a G1 code right here where we make straight line moves that we that's what we've learned and remember the second point is where we stop tangent uh, to that one inch radius right before it started doing a clockwise arc to the other side of the part so this is the second G code we'll be learning today and that is a G2 code which is a clockwise arc now the information required on that line is the end point of the arc and then the radius it swings now remember on our part it said that the radius was actually one inch but we're programming to the center line of the tool so we are offset by a quarter inch so therefore we are swinging a inch and a quarter radius so that's why it's not one inch but an inch and a quarter then when the arc is followed by a straight line let's make sure that we put a G1 back on that line and 
we are moving in a straight line to the next tangency point where we're swinging another clockwise arc remember the quarter inch radius now again we are programming to the center line of the tool which is half inch diameter so we're offset by a quarter inch so therefore quarter inch radius plus a quarter inch offset makes it a half inch radius that we are swinging around that corner so G1's linear move G2 clockwise arcs so those are the two less or G codes that we've learned in this lesson let's take a quick look and see how this program runs and that's it that's all the program does one pass straight to finish and that's all the program will do so draw yourself a couple of shapes with some radii and practice not only with a half inch tool but maybe a one inch tool or a quarter inch tool and practice picking the coordinates and then putting your G1s and G2s in the proper locations. So thank you for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.